Just forget all about it. Just forget about it. Just do not mention the sun. Have you got that? I have, Ted. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> Father Crilly, Bishop Redden is here. Hell's bells. Right, show him in. Dougal, now remember, not a word about the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bishop. How are you? Come on in. Sit down. Sit down there, Your Grace, beside uh, Father Dougal. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle? Some tea, please. Oh, certainly, <laughs> Father Crilly. <laughs> How's the sun? What? The son of God! How's the son of God? How's everything in the world of religion? <laughs> the world of religion? What the hell are you talking about, Crilly? Well, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, let me sign that tea. <laughs> Here I am. Here I am. Oh, isn't this grand? I'm fine, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look what everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time You'll now, You'll feel pretty. left out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. <laughs> I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> Just say yes, Your Grace. It's, it's quicker, believe me. All right, then, yes. Come on. I grant so. <laughs> well, I hope you're not doing too much damage here, huh? Jack? Are you behaving yourself? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Your Grace, uh, what brings you to these parts? Thinking of sending us back to our parishes. <laughs> Fat chance. You're here until I tell you otherwise. Do you think I'd let Jack back into a normal parish after the wedding he did in Athlone, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, but, but surely I, I'm all right. No, no, no. No, no. You were here until the, all of that money is accounted for. <laughs> I didn't know what happened to that money. I... Enough! You went to Las Vegas, whilst that poor child was supposed to be in Lourdes. <laughs> and as for this... cabbage... <laughs> the mere idea of letting him back into the real world after the Black Rock incident. Yes, that was unfair. The amount of people's lives irreparably damaged. Uh, there were only nuns. <laughs> nuns are people too. My God, the strings I had to pull to stop the Vatican getting involved. I do not want to talk about it. I just want to get this film business over and done with. F film? What, what film? This blasphemous film. The Passion of St. Tibulus. Now, His Holiness has banned it. But because of some loophole, the bloody thing is showing on this godforsaken dump. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, is it any good, do you know? I don't care if it's any good or not. All I know is that we have to be seen to be making a stand against it. I have been brought back from my holiday in California to sort it out. <laughs> and that's where you and Larry and Mo come in. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know that normally you wouldn't be able to organize a nun shoot in a nunnery. <laughs> but despite that, it's up to you to make the church's position clear. Make some kind of a protest at the cinema. Even you should be able to manage that. Oh, thanks very much. Listen, this is very serious. Don't make a balls of it, right? I'll be in touch. Your Grace, that, this... This isn't really my area. Nothing is your area, Crilly. You do not have an area, unless it's a kind of a play area with sandcastles and buckets and spades. <laughs> now, do what you're told, right? Bye now. <laughs> What's this, then, Your Grace? Uh, why am I looking at a globe of the world? Well, um, how can I explain? Firstly, a resume of the last few days. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I came in here with the idea of you making a dignified protest about this film. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. You know, just to show the church's opposition to the film. But, and this is the part that I find most interesting, you have actually made this film the most successful film ever shown here. Isn't that great? Huh? <laughs> I mean, people are coming from all over the country to see the film. They're even coming from Gdansk to see the film. <laughs> and look at this. Look, look at that. Look. 
There's you, there's Forrest Gump, and there's Father Jack actually watching the film. Now, there's a turn up for the books, what? <laughs> right, now, I think the best thing would be for ye three to continue your careers as priests come film promoters outside of my jurisdiction. Huh? Now, Ted, I thought that you might like to go to America, hmm? What part do you think? Well, um, Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ted, I'm in South America. <laughs> oh, look, you see, there's a lovely little island off the coast of Suriname, and... Uh, <laughs> they have a couple of tribes there. You're going to love this. <laughs> and they have been knocking the shit out of each other since 1907. <laughs> and we have never been able to find the right man to bring them together in a spirit of Christian harmony. But I think that you are the man. Well, thanks very much. No need to thank me. By the way, do you know how to make uh, arrows? <laughs> no. Well, not to worry, not to worry. It'll come to you. <laughs> now, Dougal, over to you. Isn't it funny how some of these places in the Philippines can keep on going without a proper sewerage system, hmm? Right there, Your Honor. Now, Jack, where can we send you, huh? Jack, wake up. Bishop, I wouldn't do that. You shut up. Jack, wake up. Take off! <laughs> I've got you now, Jack. I've got you. Oh, my God, if you think this place is bad, wait till you see your new parish. Just wait until you see. <laughs> well, that's it, then. I suppose, I suppose all we can do now is pack. <clears throat> Ted, I don't want to go to the Philippines. I mean, I can't even spell the Philippines. I know it begins with an F, but... <laughs> I know, I know. If only there was some way we could persuade the bishop to change his mind. If only we had something we could bargain with. I don't know. What's that, Jack? Did you get a film? <laughs> the last thing I want to watch now is a film. That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right there, Ted. Um, should we phone him now or will we watch it again? I think we'll watch it again. <laughs> Wrong number. Really? Ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number when you called there. Shut up, Quilly. Shut up. I'll make this quick. What would the following words suggest to you? Jack, sleepwalking, and bollock naked. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the third time in the last six months. You may have heard of Brian Noonan, hmm? A very important junior minister and a personal friend of mine. And I can tell you the last thing he and his family needs to see is the vision of an elderly priest wearing only a pair of socks and a hat. Now, I'll be around on Thursday to examine the security arrangements, and Krilly... Yes? If you ever try to bullshit me like that again, I will rip off your arms. <laughs> Bishop Brennan's coming over to have a word with you, Father, about your nude sleepwalking. Nudie Father Jack! <laughs> I suppose you must clock up a fair old mileage every year going around the diocese, you know. <laughs> doing the old uh, bishop sort of really, really. Where and... is my room? Well, um, yours is the spare room, Your Grace. It's the first on the right. Uh -huh. uh, this lettuce. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. I've already had some. You, you take it. <laughs> no, really, no, really, like really, I mean this lettuce. Where did it come from? You don't have rabbits, do you? No, of course no! Because, you see, I don't like them at all. I had an experience once with someone. It wasn't very nice. They got into a lift with me, and they started to nibble at my cape and, and everything. It was... Well, you've absolutely nothing to worry about, Your Grace. <laughs> no, that's just where we, um... where we grow the lettuce. <laughs> you, you grow lettuce indoors in a cage. Yes, it's safer, you know. Um, no one can steal it, and... Uh, well, you know... It, it brightens up the room. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Um, Crilly, what is this? <laughs> That's, um, caviar. <laughs> caviar. <laughs> yes, well, it's not every day we have a bishop around, so we thought we'd get the caviar out. <laughs> Right, so what you have done is you have spread some caviar down there so I can get down on my hands and knees and eat off the floor. Yes. <laughs> what do you think I am, Crilly, a pony? <laughs> I'm going to my bed. Dude, get as many as you can. Come on. All right, Dad. Come on, lads. Shh, shh, shh. Find that one on your foot. Oh, no, 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 Just a bad dream, Your Grace. <laughs> Over in the mood. Oh. <laughs>